What's up guys, main man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and I'm about to watch the Horang trailer, and a lot of people saw this one coming uh, when they were in France just a couple of weeks ago for the mix-up, you know, France, they speak French, uh, they showed off Lily Rochefort, who speaks French, so it kind of made sense. So a lot of people kind of call this one, okay, uh, Harada is doing an event in Korea, they're probably gonna show off Horang, and they did. So this is very exciting, I haven't seen anything here, but uh, this hasn't been spoiled, so I'm very excited. This is one of the big ones, like this is for sure one of the big ones. Jin's rival, the Taekwondo guy, Bekdo-san is dead while well, missing, you know, they're never dead really. Uh, so th this is going to be very exciting and interesting. What have they done with Huarang? A character a lot of people find annoying. But a character I, I have to say I have a little bit of newfound respect for. He is tricky to play. I'm trying to get him to Tekken God. Um, but so yeah, let's see what they've done to Huarang. Uh, can't say I'm a huge fan of pirate uh, Yakuza biker Huarang. Uh, his outfit in Tekken 7. So interesting to see what they've done with him in terms of look in this game. I, I, I certainly hope the eye patch is gone. Oh! Well, okay, aggressive biker gang dude. Looks very aggressive. Oh! Oh, oh! I'm kinda happy with Taekwondo outfit is back. I much prefer that. But he looks so different. He looks so different. He looks way more aggressive. And looks way less anime as well. I don't know. Oh, backlash, knockdown. So many new animations. They've updated a lot of animations here. Damn. He looks so different. He looks older, he looks way more like stern, aggressive, I don't know. Wait. What are these sparks? Was that heat smash? Wait, Joe. Okay, cool, Rajar. Ended a bit like Kazuya's. Okay, mods, you, you may uh, remove emote only. Unleash the hounds. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more like comic relief, cheeky humor. Ah, <laughs> you're, you know, that was easy. <laughs> You suck. Uh, you know, some... He seemed way more, like, uh, serious. But is it just me or he looks way more stern, aggressive? We're going certainly more, like, violent biker gang guy. But I, li I like the outfit. I'm, I'm happy he has uh, his gi back. Well, Gi. It's this is this is a mix of biker Huarang and Gi Huarang. Like the hair, eye patch is gone. I like it. The red hair is, uh, you know, staple trademark Huarang. <laughs> but he looks great. But he looks very ominous. A trickster, trickster ominous. <laughs> For the next yeah, his face is way better, but um, it's like every male character, I feel the same way. Looks way better, looks much more like a person this time around. Blood Talon. I think they called him that in Tag 1 as well, where they also gave him a little title. Uh, but he, he looks great. It's just like a, another one of those where... 
the character has never looked better, in my opinion. Yeah, shut up already. So this classic intro. But so here comes the part where we do want to analyze the gameplay. So I think I'm just going to mute this and set it to slow-mo. Oh, oh my god. So this, of course, staple attack, the number one attack you think of when you think Huarang. Uh, unbelievably spammable in Tekken 7, down 3-4. And immediately what we want to see here is what does the pushback look like on, um, on hit here, the, the second hit. Because historically, this move hasn't been that strong because either it hasn't been a natural combo, Tekken 6, or in Tag 2 and Season 1 of Tekken 7, it would push back a lot. So he didn't get this really dumb 50-50 afterwards. But here you can see there's not that much pushback. So this seems to be Tekken 7 style. So we will probably have still have 14 frames plus here and insane pressure. So here he opts for a new low sweep. That seems very plus. And here's Backlash. Uh, again, an attack we think of. They immediately show the two, like, some... The two arguably most annoying Horang attacks in Tekken 7. But uh, this is the new uh, knockdown you'll see on, for example, King's Ford Ford 1 as well. So these are moves they've nerfed. Like, uh, this shouldn't be a launcher anymore. So King's Ford Ford 1, he will run in and do a ground throw, which I think is much better for King. You know, he's a grappler. And here, Backlash doesn't launch anymore, so obviously a big nerf. And thank God, because that move was so dumb. So dumb. So here runs in Ford Ford 3. Can probably run in and back free as well to flip them for Oki. So good changes. But down 3-4 seems to remain the same. Question is, does he still have that obnoxious 50-50 afterwards? Back free or hell sweep or power crush or uh, flappy kicks. Um, we'll see. So this seems like a new attack, like heavy, heavy plus on block. And looks like a mid as well. Is this CD free? We'll watch this again. But this is not CD3. This, this is just a new attack. And that's homing. It looks slow, though. But that, that's going to be a strong move for sure. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? We actually need to see the speed of this attack. Let's see. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is... Oh, oh dear. I wonder what, what the, that, that does on hit. Uh, having played more Horang now, what I realize is that this, the, the problem that character has is initiation. So what that means is going into your opponent in the neutral, or if your opponent is a few steps back. Horang is really good once he's in your face, or if he's standing a few yards away and just moving about, you're trying to get in, and now he has down for two for really great keep out, I mean, arguably his best attack, or if you whiff anything in the neutral, he'll back free you, like Plasma Blade, whatever it's called, launches from 50 miles away, right? So he's really good at you whiffing, he's standing far away, or when he's already up close, now he'll pressure you with his plus frames, his down free four. But if he's standing far away and he's trying to run in on you, here he's really weak. He has a lot of problems, especially with tracking. Uh, but so this, th th this is why this move scares me a little bit. Because this is initiation. It doesn't look that slow, and he jumps quite far in. Seems to be mid, homing. So this fixes his linear problem. And you see the frames even on block here. So this... Uh, yeah, th this one scares me a little bit, I have to say. But we did see the, the backlash nerfed, right? So th this is just classic Huarang. Uh, I think that was right foot forward two into a kick here. And it's just, th this is where he always shines. Like you can't, if you get hit, he's plus 10. If you block, he's plus five. 
it, this is just classic Huarang. This parry into a uh, very slick triple kick knockdown there. Sidestep for counter it is still a launcher. Uh, to be expected. That is such a cool string. And of course, screws into Hunting Hawk. Really cool combo. Sorry, what just happened here? Ah, uh, Flamingo. Into Halberd. Lightning Halberd. He has, I missed this first time around. He, he has Bex Halberd. Okay, Be Beck is just super dead. <laughs> <laughs> or he's kidnapped. Oh, and held at ransom by a rival biker gang. You know, they're always missing. It's like with June. Uh, but first they said Beck died to a heart attack. Ah! Add too much Kentucky's fried chicken. Extra oily. Big bucket. Then he died to Azazel. No, it was actually Azazel. <laughs> Grabbed Beck by the hair and caved his face in. But, but yeah, so, yeah, he's just, he's super dead. Like, that, that's arguably his number one trademark attack. Lightning Halberd. Uh, so, explosion hit him into the grenade there on the wall. While standing two kick? Okay, uh, down for three, still a power crush. Can be cancelled into Flamingo still. We can see Nina's butt there, by the way. Just pointing this out. Important information. Uh, is that an Easter egg? Seeing her butt? Uh, so there he had a kick spike. Which also reminded me of uh, Beck. That is Beck's, Beck's attack. It's down back to bound, I believe, from Tekken 6 Tag 2. It is. 100% this is Beck. Beck do San. So Beck is ultra dead. Like super duper dead. So Beck fans expecting him to return for Tekken 8 or BDLC. It, it has to be mentioned though that a character inheriting attacks doesn't mean the char character is dead. It's like Lil Majin has said now a few times like, um, Armor King is dead. He will never return. And it's like, well... That's not exactly the case. King inherited multiple Armor King attacks, right? But it, this is certainly not a good sign. Because throughout this trailer now, we've seen three back attacks. That jumping triple kick he did while spinning. Ha ha ha! Triple kick. That was also back. Th this is a staggering amount of, like, inherited techniques here. So, Beck, I think Beck is super dead. And this is also a good way for them to just, um, you know how gaming companies, you can save a lot on your budget by recycling stuff. So they basically went like, okay, we have a dead Taekwondo guy. He died to a heart attack. Beck, what exactly can you still give to Huarang? And they've certainly been taking stuff here. Like, poor Beck, Sca his corpse was scavenged. Imagine dying to a heart attack at KFC and then Bandai Nam could just run in and they just steal everything. And then they call the paramedics. <laughs> Poor Beck. Uh, so this we don't have to watch in slow-mo. Holy fuck, he looks good! Holy shit, he looks good! I wasn't expecting this. Look at his face in Tekken 7, and he looks like, a, he looks drawn, he looks anime, right? He looks like a fucking person. And I like this serious look. And again, I'm like, he's, he's what, 19, 20? Why can't the waifu mains get someone who looks like a person? They only get the dolls. I feel, I feel, if I was, again, I have to stress, I feel bad for waifu mains. The guys look so fucking good. Okay, that, that intro is so cool. Oi! Oh! Super cool intro. 
of a Jin's pose is a little bit wanker. <laughs> I mean, Oran gets it right. He's like, come on. And here, he <laughs> hunched over. <laughs> okay, so back four. Back four, still a 13 frame high launcher. I wish. Oh my god, so that's a. Uh, that's a bound. That's the heat burst. Bound, double bound. Forward two, right foot forward, into bicycle kick. Okay. Forward four, big frames. Oh, okay, I missed this the first time around. Back three is a heat engager. This strikes me as a nerf, because that's a launcher. A minus 10 mid launcher currently in Tekken 7. Uh, so that, that's, a, yeah, I would say that's a huge nerf. So what this means is that when he's in heat, this will be a launcher, right? Because you'll do back free on hit, and now you'll be able to heat dash and pick up. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's a big nerf. A heat engager, a forced 50-50, hard, hard mix-up, is not as good as a launcher, obviously. Guaranteed damage. So that's a big nerf. Wait, is that down for 3-4? No, it's not. It's, it just looks a bit like it. This seems like a new attack. Oh, wait. It's, oh, that's the heat smash. That's the heat smash. I think. Oh. It's unfortunate that they demonstrate the heat smash into a wall break. Because due to the camera change to Jin, we can't really see the end of the animation. I love how unfazed Jin is after all of his training and his 1,000 sit-ups per day. Getting smashed into a wall, but he's like, is this all you can do? Is this it, Huarang? <laughs> Down 4-4. Four, four. And that's a bound. And down for 3 4 to end it. Okay. Ford 1 plus 2, still a counter at launcher. No, 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 wait. Uh, uh, no. We're demonstrating that it's not a counter at launcher. Holy shit. That's what we're showing here. That's not a launcher! He gets a guaranteed heat engager, I guess. Boom. This looks weird for a natural combo, though. Boom, boom, boom. Is that a natural? Normal hit. Uh, triple hits like this. Free hit strings on normal hit being natural. That's very rare. <laughs> but that's what we're showing. So he has a very fast heat engager like this. <laughs> You'll be able to punish with that, I guess, as well. For a very fast heat engager. But so, okay, interesting. Ford 1 plus 2, no longer a counter at launcher. That's a huge nerf. There's a lot of nerfs in this, in this trailer. Like, they, they are on purpose showing off a lot of nerfs to this character. And it has to be said that he went under the radar a lot with Tekken 7. If, if you had seen more, him more in tournaments, and they listen a lot to the high-level players complaining on Twitter... And some of my complaining as well. But if they had paid, if, if people had complained more, I think Backlash would have been nerfed. Such a dumb attack in 7. So I was expecting that to get nerfed. Uh, back 3, however, nerf I did not see coming. Forward 1 plus 2 nerf I did not see coming. Uh, 
Okay, flappy kick's still there. Uh, but what's up with all of the green sparks here? Oh, wow. This is disgusting, though. Again, lack of tracking in Flamingo. They are showing here on purpose that now you have a low option here that tracks. <laughs> Big ol' hell sweep, right? But what, what is up with these sparks? I guess it's because he's in heat. You see here the sparks? So I'm guessing flappy kicks when he's in heat have improved properties. Is my guess. Ford, Ford, four, peace, keeper, right? Oh, while well in heat, that's, that's a launcher. Still a bad move, by the way. Uh, unless they've improved the tracking on that attack, it, 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 I mean, in Tekken 7, 99% of the time you're doing this in your combo. It is so bad in the neutral, in my opinion, like in how slow and linear it is. So that being a launch in heat, that, that's not a big thing. That's a cool ender, though. I mean, that, that's not a thing in Tekken 7. Up for 3 4, Flamingo follow up. Yeah, he does Hunting Hawk into right, uh, right Flamingo stance. And back 3 is still there. Okay, that's the breakdown. Wait, one person. Would be fun if he and Paul had the same bike. But yeah, I gotta say, he's looking good. He looks way more like serious. You know, when he loses the goggles on the head, you know, eye patch and all of that, he's just... He looks way cooler in this game. Definitely unseeable. Yeah, that's unseeable. So fast this week. And tracks. But I gotta say, like, he... To me in this trailer... He looks great. Visually, it's amazing. New animation, new moves. Everything is super slick. But in terms of his strength, he looks nerfed. Like, I mostly see really big nerfs to the character. Well, 
Right, th this is the sweep. Same sweep. But you, you sh so this sweep is going to track a bit. And that's what he, they showed in Heat has an extension. And Backlash nerf is huge. But again, this... This move right here does scare me though. There are a lot of nerfs, but this this looks like it fixes a huge weakness the character has in terms of general game plan. Like that that move could change the character significantly. So with all of the nerfs, this new attack has to be taken into consideration, right? It's a little bit like Jin, where we saw a million nerfs. But oh, here's my broken down too. So it's like, eee. So it's like, okay, once you've gotten going, we're gonna nerf your options, but we're not gonna give you a hard time anymore getting close to the opponent because here's your super kick, right? Into frames. And to start your shit. But once you get started, we're, we're nerfing your shit. But you're going to get to start your shit. That's what it looks like. Yeah, myth, that is what it looks like with your boy. But oh well, uh, really happy for Horang mains. I think he looks simply great. He's just added to the list of characters in Tekken 8 that have never looked better. And I love the animations. A lot of the stuff seems to have been animated anew. Like, looks very smooth and fluid. I like the rage art. It's just like Kazuya when he finishes them. This is the end or whatever he says. He screams like a madman. And I'm just he's in my opinion. If I if I were to nitpick this a little bit, I like the rage art. But when he says you're pissing me off here, he sounds way too relaxed in my opinion. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's a bit anime to sound very relaxed in the middle of an attack like this, but I would just prefer if he was like screaming. That, that just adds, in my opinion, those attacks. But yeah, it just looks great. So I gotta say, very, very happy with this trailer. Uh, super great job by Bandai Namco, uh, and can't wait to see the next one. And a lot of people ask me what characters do you want to see next, and my list is not really changing. It is Steve, Dragonob, Armor King, Heihachi, I mean, probably dead though, uh, Devil Jin. Uh, I mean, those are the goats for me. Um, and Lee, Lee, Lee as well. Uh, but so I hope you enjoyed my breakdown of this trailer, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.